Hello, I'm J. Brett Turnbull, and today let's talk about the Kibera slum. Kibera is the Nubian word for forest or jungle. It is a suburb of Nairobi and the largest urban slum in Africa. In 2007, I spent the summer uh, volunteering with an NGO in Africa and some of my duties took me into the Kibera slum. So I got to experience it firsthand. Uh, I did spend a few nights there and get to spend some time uh, with a, a host family and some other volunteers. And uh, to describe it for a Westerner, it is, it is shocking to say the least. It, it's basically like a bunch of people living in a, a dump, what we consider a dump. They have open, latri open latrine toilets, which are basically just holes in the ground. Um, the, the sanitation is just uh, insanely shocking for a Westerner. Uh, but this was something uh, I, I wanted to experience firsthand. Uh, I don't believe you can get a good view of the world from, from a couch in North America. Uh, so I decided to spend the summer uh, volunteering and, and I knew it would be uh, pretty rough. I, I had an idea it would be, uh, but seeing the levels of poverty there was uh, shocking and, and still uh, affects me to this day. Uh, and, uh, you know, it makes me appreciate what I have and when people complain, it's, uh, you know, I've seen in, in a small glimpse into uh, a life worse than anyone can imagine. Uh, pretty much hell on earth. Most residents live in extreme poverty, earning less than $1 a day. Unemployment rates are high. HIV and AIDS are very common as well as rape. Uh, being a, a, a foreigner walking through the slum, obviously you draw a lot of attention. Um, and I do remember the children uh, running around and they would just all just constantly say, how are you? How are you? And, and the reason is, is because um, I, I guess, how are you with the long you is uh, a Swahili or, or Nairobian word for potato. And so the children, <laughs> you know, they think that they can, when they say potato to a Westerner and the Westerner responds and waves back, uh, they get a kick out of that. Uh, the dwellings there are, are pretty packed together and obviously they, they fit a lot of people into one dwelling. Uh, they're basically mud walls with corrugated tin roofs and either dirt or concrete floors. And while walking through the slum, I remember seeing that the, uh, the mud walls, it's not just mud, it's, it's mud and trash, mud and, and cl bits of cloth, plastic bags sticking out of it. And so literally the trash is built into the the dwellings in the slum and uh like i said very very shocking uh sanitation is 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 horrible there that's one of the the things i remember the most is just you you really wanted to be wearing uh boots and pants despite the the heat just so the least amount of your body comes into contact with with what's going on there the majority living in the slum do not have access to electricity, running water, or medical care.